Before we do our activity today, guys, with posters, and I know how much you love to get posters. 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 Let's talk about living and non-living things. What does the word classify mean? Trace, what does the word classify mean? Um, group. To put in groups. Thank you very much. So if we were going to group living things, everybody give me an example of a living thing. Go. A possum. Yes. A flower. Correct. A duckbill platypus. <laughs> yes. Now, you all give me an, an example of living things. You classified those things in the living group. Now, I want you to give me things in the non living group. So, a camera. Cassie? Water. Non living. Um, a microphone. Yes, good example. Putty. 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 Good. I love it. We're going to be talking about these animals right here. Let's read about a mammal. Hannah, read to me about a mammal, please. Let's find out what it's all about. Most reptiles lay eggs. Birds lay eggs, so that's one way that they're alike, right? Okay. Sir, you have a, you have an answer? Um, what do you think a penguin is? I think a penguin is birds because they have little things, and then they walk around and they stick out. Do they fly? No. No, they don't. So why do you blow them up? But these are excellent, no, yes. Bird. You think it's a bird? Why? Because um, they have wings. Okay. Actually, a penguin is, you ready for this? Yeah. A bird. Uh-huh. Now, wait a minute. Yes. Susie, you told me a bird was the only animal that has feathers. No. Did you know that a penguin has feathers? Yes. It does. A penguin has feathers. So now, they are able to keep them right. very flat next to their body, and it'll be um, real tight up against their body because that's going to be one of the ways it helps them keep warm. But that's really interesting. Oh, yeah. Listen. Listen, there are some things about animals that you would think it's going to be in one group, but it's actually going to be in another because there are ways that they are alike and ways that they are different. All right, close your books up. Now that we have reviewed the characteristics, we're going to do an activity. All right, I'm going to have... One, two, and three work in a group. Okay, let me tell you what your group is going to do. I'm going to give you this sheet, and what you're going to do is you're going to take it to your area, and I'd like for you to work right there at your area, if you would, and you're going to tell me a blank is a mammal. Choose something that's a mammal. What would you like to write in there? What is a mammal? Give me, an, give me a, uh, an example of a mammal. A woolly mammoth. You could write that in there. Now, down here, you're going to draw a picture of a woolly mammoth. You're going to give me details about a woolly mammoth. What does it eat? Where does it live? What does it sound like? Give me all the details you can about the mammal you choose. All right? Get your markers out. You're going to need them. You boys and girls are going to talk about reptiles. This group, you're going to talk about birds. Okay? Tell me all you know. A bird type. Like, no, like a mockingbird, like an eagle, like a duck, uh, whatever you choose. So what are you guys going to choose? Now listen, you're, you're going to have to give them a lot of information about the animals. What they eat, what they sound like, what they look like, what they're happy. Okay, so if it's from an egg to a tadpole, and they're frog, so what are we going to write in words? 
What about their skin? Yeah. It going? The D is a big green coin. Not talking about color. Tell me about their skin. What would it feel like? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Weird house. Yeah. Weird house. Did it feel wet? Now we need water. All right, you guys have a lot of information to take down here. Okay, boys and girls, I had you in groups. I gave each of you directions to tell me about your group. This group was about birds. Raise your hand if you were in this group. Okay, you did a nice job. I see that you have written a bird has a beak, a bird has feathers, a bird stays in a nest. You were telling me about its habitat. A bird has wings. A bird, a bird eats worms. I like that. Very, very nice illustration, too. And each of you have done that for your area. We have a frog, fish, insect, reptile. We have amphibian up there. You read a frog is a fish, an insect, a reptile, a mammal, and a bird. Now, what we're going to do, you have told me about those, and you've done that very well. What we're going to do is we're going to take two groups, and we're going to compare them. You're going to tell me what's alike about the two groups because sometimes they do have things that are the same about them. And then there are going to be some things that are different. All right? So we're going to compare and contrast. Can anybody tell me what this diagram is? When you have two circles and it overlaps in the middle. Do you know what the name of that is? Deering got... It's on the tip of your tongue. It's called a Venn diagram. diagram. This particular one is going to show us the difference between a mammal, we're going to use a mammal, and we're going to use a... Reptile. reptile. Okay, we'll use a reptile. So we'll trade places with the frog. Oh, here. All right, we're going to have a mammal on this side, and we're going to have a reptile on this side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the characteristics of each. If only the mammal has it, we're going to put it over here. If only the reptile has it, we're going to put it over here. If they both have it, I'm going to try to squeeze it in the middle because this area is the same. Okay? Because even though you may have something in one group, you have something in another group, there will be things about them that are alike. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at a mammal. Who is in this group? Kayla, give me something about a mammal. Tell me a characteristic. It eats. It eats. Is that what you're trying to say? All right. Now let's talk about this. A mammal eats. Does a reptile eat? Yes. Yes. If it's a living thing, it's going to eat. So we're going to have to put eat in the middle here. This is one way they're alike. Tia, a mammal eats, a reptile eats. Who else was in this group? Joel, give me something else about a mammal. They both swim. A mammal can swim. 
A reptile can swim. Not all of them, but some of them can. You know what? I'm going to write that down in there. They can swim. Give me a reptile that can swim. A frog. Okay, a frog can swim. Give me a mammal that can swim. A whale. Oh my gosh. Good for you. Who else was in this group? Pete, give me something about a mammal, please. Okay, so they are different sizes. Some are big, some are tiny, you said, so they're different sizes. Let's, let me ask you this. Some reptiles big? Yeah. How about an alligator? Yeah. How about a crocodile? Yeah. How about a lizard? So they can be different sizes too. All right, so I'm going to put in both big and small. Now, I know something about mammals that reptiles do not have, and they have fur. They have fur. Reptiles have scales. Scales. Thank you. Do you know how to scale? Yes. Wow. They do? All right. Mammals have live babies. And they feed their babies milk. Milk. Oh, and they feed their babies. Ooh, live babies. And they feed milk. Milk. How about a reptile? Do they have live babies? No. They lay eggs. They lay eggs. Thank you very much. And we said they feed their babies milk over here. What do they feed their babies over here? Water. 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 Milk. We read it in our book. A word. Bugs. Bugs. Well, it could be bugs. It could be all kinds of things. We said it feeds them food. Now, the food might be fruit. It might be bugs. It might be worms. It might be... You know, all that yummy, yummy stuff that they love to eat. But they don't feed them milk. Boys and girls, do you see how some things can be the same, but yet there are some things that are very different? Did you see that? We are comparing and contrasting. There are always things that can be the same and be the different. Let's talk about, um, stand up here for just a minute. Gage, Hannah, stand up for just a minute. What are the same about Gage and Hannah? Yes. They have hair. They do have hair. <laughs> they have hair. What's the same? They're in the same grade. They're in the same grade. They're both in first grade. They both have skin. They both have skin? What's it like? They both have clothes. Yes, they're both, whew, they're both wearing clothes. They both have freckles. Let's see. <laughs> oh, cute little freckles. I love I them. Yes? They, they both have eyeballs. Mm-hmm. You're exactly right. Those are ways that they're alike. Now, tell me how they're different. Tell me how they're different. Yes, ma'am. They're different because they don't wear the same size clothes. They're a different size. And she's a girl. They're not both boys or girls. They're not both boys and girls, so they are boy, one is a girl. Okay? Boy, girl. girl. Rhea. Boy. Those things are not wearing the same clothes. They're not wearing the same clothes. He has on pants. She has on shorts. shorts. That's different. Shorts they have different shoes. Right. She has flip flops and she has two shoes. Good difference. Is that what you're going to say? Kevin, give me another one. They don't have socks. Both of them don't have socks. She wears socks. He doesn't. And he doesn't. Something different. Gage is taller. Yes. Kayla. Yeah, they both have nostrils. <laughs> That's one way that they're alike, right? That's one way they're alike. All right, boys and girls, the thing about... Do you love learning about science? Thank you. You guys can sit down. Do you love... You can sit down, not fall down. Do you love learning about science? Do you love learning about the world around you? Yes, yes. All right. We're going to be learning more things about what animals need and how they change and how they grow. But we're going to be doing that tomorrow. You did a fabulous job today. Let's give ourselves a firecracker. Ready?
Nice job. Thank you. Where did 